Good morning, Princess. Good morning. So tell me about what you did this morning while Mommy was still asleep. I cut my hair. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Why did you cut your hair? I just wanted to. I'm going to sleep. I love you. Hey, Princess. You look very pretty this morning. <laughs> Today, my big plan was to clean my whole house and to make green tomato pickles for you guys, well, and for us, and to make fried green tomatoes. But I got a call this morning, and that call was pretty exciting to me. Um, Grandma and Grandpa invited us to come with them to a place called the Arboretum, and they're having a special monarch butterfly exhibit. But the coolest part, the thing I'm the most excited about, is they're gonna release a bunch of monarch butterflies. You see right now, happening right now, in these here mountains, the monarch butterflies are migrating from the northeastern United States and Canada down into Florida. The, the ones that come from there typically go down into Florida, or sometimes they'll go to Mexico, but usually the ones that go to like California and Mexico are coming from the west. So that's happening right now. We've actually gone up on the parkway before to see the migration, and maybe we still will if we haven't missed it. Are you guys excited about the butterflies? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think, what are you hoping will happen? They will fly my dress because I have flowers on my dress. Is that why you wore that dress? Yeah. So you look like a flower? Uh -huh. If I could only find my dress that would make me look like a flower, I would have worn it. Is that why you wanted that dress? Oh, well look, you have flowers all over this dress. And I it's know. beautiful yellow. But that other Mom, one would have made me look like a flower flower. Flower. Yes, it does. Perfect, thank you. Looks like it's a dead one. It's not dead. Let's go take it in the shade. So just get back and let it see if it'll feed. just have to wait. It's still alive. It's probably just really hungry. Oh, wow. yeah. Hi. Hi. I love your outfit. Thank you. My kids like it too. Yay. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I'm Trudy Henninger and I'm the citizen science coordinator here at the North Carolina Arboretum. Tell me about the different kinds of milkweed you have here. Uh, so today we have butterfly milkweed that has a really big orange showy flower and then we also have Whoa. swamp milkweed which has a pink flower and both of these are host plants for the monarchs. Tell us a little bit about the monarchs, like what's going on? Okay, uh, so our monarch numbers are decreasing. Uh, and we used to have these mass migrations of monarchs uh, flying from North America to Central America, so uh, from the U.S. to Mexico. 
and then uh, also from the northern U.S. to California. So they go on these mass migrations and uh, those numbers are getting smaller and smaller and one of the reasons is that their host plants, the only plant that they will lay their eggs on, that the caterpillars eat, so their only food source has been decreasing. People aren't planting it, but also uh, they're often being treated with insecticide and uh, then the uh, that kills the monarchs. And so we have some plants here today that people can plant that are not sprayed and they're not treated. Oh. So they are um, beneficial food for the monarchs. Very nice. I have a question. Yeah. The butterflies that you guys are releasing today, Yes. Uh -huh. how does that work? Where did they come from? So the caterpillars we released from today, a lot of them came from, some of them came from our site here. And then some of them, uh, we had about 80 butterflies donated from a friend uh, that got them from her property. Very uh, neat. And then, yeah, some of them we did order. So um, every now and then to have a big release and yes. an educational event, we will order some adult monarchs to go. But we've been trying to raise them here. This is our second year doing our event. Our goal is to have them all be from here. That's very cool. Yeah. So, but they know where to go and how to migrate, even if they're like, just, just know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of the magical things about our planet. Is they just know where to go. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. Well, we actually have tons of milkweed on our property, Yay! common, and butterfly weed, the orange, mm -hmm. actually happens to be my most favorite flower in the whole world. It's beautiful. Since we got home, Grace has been going around to every milkweed plant she can find and checking for chrysalis and eggs and caterpillars. I just love that, don't you? There's one. Did you check that one? Huh? Did you check that one? That one? Yeah. Ooh. Whew. It is so good to be home. It's a long drive. Now, I did want to take a minute and just show you um, some common milkweed as well as some butterfly weed that's just growing in my yard. So this here is milkweed. This is the seed pod. As these leaves just are a little bit um, more oval shaped and less pointy. They're still a little pointy on the ends, but they're a little, little more oval shaped. And they have that nice pinkish red center. The blooms on milkweed have are like a purplish gray color. There are even like a muted pink. And this is basically where you're gonna find it, is in a big pasture like this one, or like on the side of the road. And this here is a good example of butterfly weed. There's no blooms on any of these. They're easy, much easier to identify when their blooms are there. Grace found what she thinks is a monarch butterfly egg, so we're gonna go check it out. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Is it? I don't know, we'll have to go look. We're gonna go inside and do a little research and see if that actually is a, butter, a monarch butterfly egg. If so, if it is, then we can keep a real close eye on it and watch because typically the caterpillars will stick with that same plant if, if it's enough food for them. 